hello friends welcome to the channel ivan mesa today i'll be doing another good challenge from front end me to we are completing the recipe page app so james if you haven't completed this challenge, make sure that you follow along me as i'll be teaching you how to do it. so make sure that you go there to their own page to their page and download this starter challenge for free so, so i'm going ahead and i've, and I've downloaded the starter code and here i am inside my visual studio code so this is where we are going to be doing this challenge i'm going to create a new file which first thing i'm going to click main css file and inside our index html file i'm going to go below the title text i'm going to create a listing link to our main main to css file it is an href then inside our body text i'm going to create a div for the point and i'm going to call it class name card i will set a horizontal row then I'm going to put an image and for the image I'm going to give it a source then I'm going to set using the assets folder images slash images then you can down you you have to download the images from when you download the starter code you have the images for that's where you are going to have our images our image then now after doing that I'm going to say out then let's have a text that will appear in case the image fails to load then let's create a sub D then I'm going to give it a class name of ingredients. Then I'm going to say the paragraph text. Then paragraph text, I'm going to give you the ID of main heading. Then let's have simple or made recipe text there. Then let's create some spacing. Then create another new set of paragraph text. Then give them the ID name content. And then let's have text that will be inside the paragraph text. Then let's have a div with with the with with empty logo okay i want to open side by side view so that i view what i'm doing so to do this i'm just going to place on preview site and this is the internal preview then i'm going to say toggle okay just come here and minimize this tape okay like like this okay let's go live inside our browser Okay, so this is how this is now the project that we have made so far. So now let's come back inside our in our index HTML file, and I'm going to say give give a deep list of listings one. So for the listings, I'm going to set a paragraph with ID name preparation. Then let's have some text. Then let's save it and order listings for the Android listing. I'm going to give it a listings of with the spanning side, and the, the class name for the span is body dash content. Then let's have text the then let's also have some calling that will go outside the span text now i'm going to have a second listings then i'm going to have a third listings then okay with the same style of, of span inside the listings now if i come inside my browser i'm checking you can see i have now put these listings now let's come back inside our browser and we check okay inside our index html file i'm not going to create a div outside the div class name list one paragraph text so for the paragraph text i'm going to give them an idea of sub dash heading then i'm going to put some text then let's have in a in an add order listings but and with a class name of list two then for the list two i'm going to set in a listings so i'm going to have first listings then these are the second listings third listings fourth listings fifth listings so if i come back inside my browser they can see now i've got those second listings now i'm going to come back inside our solution and we say create a div outside the horizontal row then let's have a class name of instructions then for this one i'm going to set a paragraph inside this div with the with the idea of sub dash heading and with some text there then let's have a horizontal row then also i'm going to set an ol of with the class name of list two then let's save listings what are listings and then with the spanning side then let's have an id name for the span body dash content then let's have text and also outside text outside the span then i'm going to set a second listings with the same format just like as above then let's add a third listings then let's add a fourth listings in the fifth listings 
there you can see so i've got so many listings now i've got six listings inside this ordered listing with the class name list two so now if i come inside my browser and i'll check they can see just below those on the now i've got these ordered listings with one two three five six now i'm going to add another div outside with the class name of nutrition let's save a paragraph tag with the id name of sub dish heading then let's save nutrition text then let's have another second paragraph text then let's have a table below with with the table row for the table row i'm going to set a table data and table data again for with the id name of all the data let's have a second table row then let's have table data there and they can see now i've got another the table row with the table data table data so now you can see that i've got these three table rows the table row there below i'm going to give it a table data now let's also have put another table data there with, the, with what we have done now i'm coming inside my browser and we can check so you can see now this is what we that's what, that's what what we now have got so now it's the time for us to go inside our main css file come inside your browser uh, inside your visual studio code and this is where you could um this is where you are going to put all the stylings like like i've done before just make sure that on right at the top on line 8 you have correctly linked the index html file to the main css file so there you got it <coughs> so now i'm going to first of all have the font family i mean that i'm importing you can find this links inside the starter code so they are by default so now if you got your import if you imported the font links now let's start by adding media media screen at maximum width 375 pixels then for that one i'm going to have some card properties for small screens card i'm going to give it and also i'm going to have some padding for and margin for for the body now nextly we're going to set some root variables that i've collected from front end mentor you can get them from the style guide there they were a style guide file so now this is where i got these root values they can see i've got some nice colors eggshell like, like gray dark charcoal and all these colors so you can you've got these colors now i'm going to set some phone family for everything that is variable content now let's if they start the body by put outside the media clear so i'm going to set a margin of zero painting of zero box sizing of border box in background color variable neutral eggshell so if i come inside and i check they can see the background is now been set this this you can see the background then now if i come inside i'm going to start start the main hash main heading then i'm going to give it a color of dark charcoal then font family of variable heading then font weight of variable heading weight then font size of calculating variable content font size times two so if i come back they can see the font family has changed and you can see some font weight they we have made so now if i come back inside my coding i'm now going to start the hash subheading i'm going to give it a font size with the with the cal calculated with the variable of content size font font size times 1.5 percent then color of variable prim primary not girl then font family of variable heading so now i'm going to come inside my browser you can see everything has changed you can you can reload the page but it's always they can see the heading the ufc this one has changed now i'm going to start the image for the image i'm going to give you a width of 100 percent for the radius of 10 pixels now if you come inside your browser you can see now we have, we have set it to 100 percent in some border radius there so now i'm i'm going next i'm going to start the card for the card i'm going to give it a maximum height of 1440 pixels and a maximum width of 120 pixels and a padding of 30 pixels 
and the margin of 20 auto come inside your browser they can see we have reduced width and height they can see now come inside and let's have a background of variable white neutral if i come inside they can see the background is changed they they can see that we have this lovely design now we come inside and let's add a point weight and let's add a font size of variable point size that divided by one comma two five then let's add a color of neutral web ground then put a radius of 10 pixels you can see now if you come inside the browser they can see now we have changed everything the font size you can see now the design is just looking as it is supposed to look right on our challenge page you can see now the desktop view and the mobile view they are now almost looking identical now come inside pick inside your solution let's start the hash content for that content i'm going to say color of variable then font size then let's start the bond bond content i'm going to say the font weight of variable content weight now you can see they can see the solution is almost just matching up as we would want now come inside let's add a preparation i prefer i'm going to give you a color of variable dusk raspberry okay you can see okay now come back and we are going, just going to add some more styling font weight and let's start the listings one we're going to set the background of neutral rose white then painting of 5 pixels and 20 pixels but i read that 10 pixels let's start the list 2 marker then i'm going to give you the list type list style type of circle then color then let's start the listings we're going to give you the painting of 5 pixels and zero now let's start the listings to list marker then we're going to give it a list style type of circle and the color of primary nutmeg. Then let's style the horizontal rule. For the horizontal rule, I'm going to give it a border color of neutral light gray. So if I come inside, they can see the horizontal rule has actually changed. Then now we come back our solution. Now I'm going to give it a width of 100% for the horizontal rule. Check. You can now see the horizontal rule is now covering every the whole page. Now I come inside my list of the UL and order listings and the order listings painting of 0 20 pixels. Then let's start the table. For the table, I'm going to give it a width of 375 pixels. Border collapse, collapse. Then let's start the table row. For the table, I'm going to give it a border of one pixel solid light gray color they can see the, the right at the bottom of the table we are styling it they can see the changes that have applied to the table at the bottom of the page for the width 75 percent then let's start the table data for the table data i'm going to give it a fading of 10 pixels and 30 pixels then let's start the hash dashboard id bold dash data then I'm going to give it a color of Paramar Nut Girl, one weight of content weight 200, content weight of 200. Now come inside our solution. They can see the solution is just perfectly. If I come inside, let's 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 view it on small screens. I'm just gonna say it like this. They can see on small screens we have got it just as like what was required by front end mentor so this this is how you have completed our challenge of receipt page use on front end mentor if you like my content make sure that you subscribe and like my video thank you for watching